Hello everyone and welcome back to Raider Vision All Access. I'm Travis Cran bringing you some of the latest news in Texas Tech sports. The Red Raiders coming off a huge win in Norman, Oklahoma, beating the Sooners 41 to 38. The first time the Red Raiders have won in Norman since 1996, snapping that 39 game home winning streak for the Sooners. I talked to Seth Dagan, and Alex Torres earlier this week to talk about two and three of the most important plays during that game. Those three touchdown passes to Torres and why they were so effective against the Sooners. Last two games, minus four. That gets you beat most of the time. Deggie on second and ten. Going to throw a little slip screen to the outside. And on the run and on the move. And maybe to the end zone. Alex Torres. Touchdown. Texas Tech. Just like that, the offense of the Red Raiders strikes. We run that, you know, that screen because we think, you know, the, the, the defensive line is going to come up field really hard. And, uh, you know, we felt like Alex is a, is a good enough athlete to, to get, you know, it's a, it's a big play play. And if everybody does their job correctly, uh, it can work out just the way it did. And that's what you, you know when you work, when you watch the first play, you see guys getting blocks, you see offensive line getting downfield, and you see you know Torres getting as soon as he catches the ball, he gets straight up field, makes it that got one guy miss, and that's huge in the play. And then and he gets straight and he gets vertical and, and he uses his speed to get in the outside, and and it, it's a well blocked play. And if you look at it, all the guys are doing their job. It was it was set up perfectly. It was a great play call at the at the right time. We knew that D-line was going to uh, come out firing off the ball and rushing up hard, and we could catch him with a screen right behind him. And uh, Daggy got the ball out to me fast, which I'm glad, because those D-line turned around and started running towards me. And our O-line got, uh, got off the line and really went out there and uh, put some good blocks on those backers. And it was just following them up until I saw a crease and then just bursting out from there. And we had some, I had some great blocks from the backside receivers that set it up. Um, to, to go for a touchdown and I mean when, when things work out that smoothly I mean I, I had the easiest job on that play and I, I couldn't be happier with the way it worked out. Second down at 21. Deggie, there's the slip screen again to Torres. He scored on this in the first quarter. He might do it again. <laughs> He's going on a touchdown. Same pattern as the touchdown in the first quarter. This one goes 30 yards. The first one was 44. Running it the second time, you don't expect to be able to break it the last like like we did the first time. Um, but it was still going to be a great play call. We knew it would be real effective, and we uh, get a get a good play out of it. And we caught him again, uh, rushing up the field pretty hard. And we got behind behind those uh, D line, and then like I said again, the lineman blocked it up, and it just seemed like it was deja vu and just running the same thing again. And uh, I saw a crease on the outside and bounced it out there. And then I think, like you said, I know Eric had a good block out there. Cornelius Douglas had a great block out there. And then Aaron Crawford somehow, I don't know how he did, but he got in the mix and got a great block down there. And it just worked out perfectly again. Deggy in the gun, fade to the corner. Touchdown, Texas Tech to Torres, his third of the night. You know, uh, it was the exact same, you know, as the rest of the game. We knew we had one-on-one -on -one backside, so we were going to take advantage of it. You know, and my job is to put the ball outside where he can make a play on it. And, and exactly what he, you know, you know, Torres always makes plays on balls, and he, he's done it for a long time now. So, uh, you know, my job is to put the ball outside, and the ball is outside, and Torres made a play on it, and touchdown. Now hopefully those two will be able to hook up a couple of times today coming into the game against the Iowa State Cyclones. Tech losing that one last year, 52 to 38 in Ames. There's been reminders all over the building all week long about that score and to not forget it because they want to take this one after being ranked number 19 in the AP poll and number 20 in the BCS standings. That's their first appearance in the BCS standings since 2008. One of them that went 11 and one during the regular season. Now be sure to come back at texastech.com during halftime. We'll have some highlights and in an interview at halftime with offensive coordinator Neil Brown. For Raider Vision All Access, I'm Travis Cram.